Saturday evening for as authorized with guests. We are going to uh, gain some insight into the life of a fascinating woman, meaning Lou, of course, <laughs> but also Maria Callas. My name is Daryl Hands of the Eagle 100.9 here in the foothills and CTV Calgary. And uh, on behalf of Pinewood Memorial Center Management, we just have a little bit of housekeeping to do. As you know, we're still under construction here. And so we want to inform you that the building does not yet have an automatic fire alarm system. There will be fire watch personnel on duty at the, uh, for the entire evening. And uh, just be aware of the exits. There's the one over here, and of course, at the back, and one out that way. And if you happen to hear a sound like this, that means it's fire. <laughs> after this, it does. That didn't mess up. But after this, it does. And so, uh, make your way to one of the exits. We trust we won't hear one of those, but uh, we just want to make sure that you are safe. Uh, of course, if I'm uh, going to be going backstage and watching the Montreal Canadiens game, uh, you might hear that again. No. <laughs> no, I'm going to just stand and listen to the music. I listen to uh, the game on my way here. And by the way, if you care, if anyone cares, the Canadians were leading 3 1 at the end of the second period. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll have one Canadian team left in the playoffs. Be a shame not to have any. Well, uh, it is a great pleasure to uh, introduce to you two fascinating women. First of all, uh, Lou Ross John, who uh, many of you know and probably are very conscious of your friendship with her. Uh, I just met her for the first time today, as far as I know. We probably crossed paths somewhere before, but uh, I, uh, yeah, she's been emailing me information about Maria Callas as well as herself. And uh, I would have got here in time to hear just a little bit of her voice warm up, so I'm looking forward to what we're going to hear tonight. Uh, Lou's primary vocal coach was Larry Benson of the Edmonton Opera, and for uh, Chip, by the way, also studied with Boyd Erickson of Calgary, who many of us knew. And uh, Lou was in the Edmonton Opera for six years in the chorus. She's been the director of Metal Arm Theater for people with special needs for four years here at High River. She's been a soloist for the first production of The Messiah in High River and also for The Messiah in Calgary at Central United Church for two years. Lou created and sang the theme song for a couple of TV shows, Open End and Survivor of Challenge on Shaw Cable in Calgary. She lives on an acreage at Harrington. Uh, with her beloved animals, the newest additions being a couple of lambs, uh, blossoms and bluebells, great things, lambs. She enjoys painting and is going to have a show at the library here at High River in June, and also enjoys poetry, writing stories, and walking with her dogs, something that, by the way, Maria Callas also enjoyed very much. And uh, Lou is going to dedicate tonight's concert to her late husband Stan, who passed away on February 25th from cancer. And so we are looking forward to some great music, but first a little bit about the diva whom we are honoring here tonight, and our own uh, Canadian diva Celine Dion, coincidentally just announced recently, I understand, that she is going to do a movie about the life 